Hey everyone, Adam with Droid Media here, and today I'm going to show you how to do a screen capture with OBS. OBS, or Open Broadcaster Software, is a great free software. Um, it's actually made for live streaming. Uh, I found out about it last year during a project that I needed to live stream for. Uh, I found out that it has a really, really good and really easy to use screen capture function. Um, so today I want to walk you through that. Now some of the best parts about this, it's free and uh, you can get up and running on this in just a couple of minutes. There's only a couple of settings that you need to worry about and then you can be up and running with screen capturing. Now at some point or another, most of us have needed to do a screen capture um, or record something on a screen. Um, you know, whether we're recording a tutorial uh, for YouTube on how to record a screen, uh, we wanna record ourselves gaming, or um, we have a client that has some sort of program or software that they want a screen recording of. Now, one of the problems that we run into, or some of them that we run into, are that a person using a computer is typically right in the middle of the frame. You're not gonna be able to get a good clean shot of the computer. You run into uh, pixelation issues if you try to zoom in and you actually start seeing pixels on the computer. Um, that can be stylistic or artistic, but it's not something we want every time. And then we also run into uh, refresh rates and shutter speed problems. So the screen, we've got that weird annoying banding that comes across our screen. So the easiest way around this is to simply record the screen itself on the computer. Now you see these all over the place, uh, people that do um, you know, video editing tutorials and stuff like that. Um, there are some paid software or programs out there that you can use, but uh, I think you should give OBS a try. Like I said, it's free, it's great, it's super easy to use. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, I've got OBS open already because I'm recording this screen and it's gonna pop up and give us this kind of psychedelic thing going on because it's recording a screen of a screen of a screen of a screen of a screen. So um, you've got some functions down here under controls. Now I've got um, you know display capture over here. I've got uh, controls. Um, this should say start recording. So if you want to start recording after you've got all your settings done, click that. Um, but first thing we want to do, go down here to settings. It's going to pop open kind of a dialog window for us to do um, some things. We don't need anything here in general. Stream, if you wanted to stream to something like Twitch or YouTube, great. Um, here under output is where we want to go first. I keep my bitrate at about 12,000, um, what is that, megabits per second. Um, audio bitrate at about 128. And then here under recording, I can't click on it right now because I'm recording, but I've got a uh, folder on my desktop that you can see here, just called screen recordings. Every time I record something, it just goes directly there. Um, recording quality, I like to have the highest file size I can. That way, if I need to zoom in on anything, um, the audience or viewers are not gonna notice any quality loss. So indistinguishable quality, large file size is what I've got. And then um, MP4 recording format, uh, the encoder is you know X264. Um, it might give you a couple of warnings here, but it just ignore those, they don't really matter. If you want an audio input, you can do so in the audio tab. Uh, here I've got, um, an auxiliary audio device. I've got a microphone plugged into a Zoom H4n running into my computer. Um, so you can play around with those settings if you want some audio. And then here under video, uh, under the base or canvas resolution, um, this is going to be the resolution of your actual hardware screen. So for me on my iMac, it's 2560 by 1440. Uh, I usually select the biggest size I can there. Um, and then under the output uh, resolution, if you wanna scale it down, you can do so. Again, because I like to zoom in every once in a while, I keep this as the highest one I can. Uh, if you do downscale it, you can tell it how to downscale you know, by cubic, whatever. And then under the uh, frames per second values, I do everything in about 30 frames per second. So I've got that selected. Uh, you can select pretty common ones, 24, 60, et cetera. Uh, again, I can't click on those because I'm recording. Um, and then here under advanced, tell your file name how to format so it's gonna um, you know, give you a certain date, time, whatever uh, for you there. And then uh, go ahead and click okay. So that's gonna be how we get that set up. And then what you wanna do is come down here to the sources and you wanna click the plus and what that's gonna do is give you audio, input, et cetera, et cetera. So if you wanna do just a window, so if I just wanted to record OBS, I could do a window capture. Uh, and then what that's gonna do uh, is pop open another little dialog window, which we'll get here to in a sec. Um, I want to do a uh, display capture though. So I wanna record my entire display. So I wanna go ahead and click display. That's gonna pop this open, I click okay. And then what that is gonna do is give me um, 
um, some options here. Uh, so which display I want to capture. I'm actually recording a display right now. Um, I'm going to get rid of that real quick. Uh, let's say we want to record a window. I'm going to do this. I'm going to tell it. You can rename it here. Um, whatever I want to call it. Um, and then under window, what it's going to do is it's going to pop up and you're going to see I've got all of these things. So I've got, um, you know, if I just want to record my doc, if I want to record um, OBS, which I am right now, if I want to record, you know, my Windows server, um, some of these other things. Uh, if you just want to record what you're doing in Premiere Pro, uh, Final Cut, uh, After Effects, whatever, you can do that there. Um, or if you've got a game, um, you can do it. So go ahead and find your um, uh, the window that you want to record. Click OK. Again, I've got uh, the display capture on. Those settings are going to be the exact same thing. Um, so once you're done with that, you can go ahead and click Start Recording. It's going to start recording for you. Um, it's going to uh, put out a little file into wherever you told it to, and you're going to be good to go. So I'm going to stop recording when I'm done. And what that's going to do is it's going to give me a file that we recorded. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Here you go. You can see this is the recording that we had today. I'm going to kind of scroll through it. So you can see you've got your screen recording. So it's as simple as that. Uh, thank you guys for sticking around through this tutorial. I hope you learned something. Uh, now there's a lot of programs out there. Uh, again, I think you should give OBS a try. Uh, it's free, definitely worth uh, checking out. Um, thanks for watching the video. If you liked what you saw, click like. If you want to subscribe for more tutorials like this, do so down below. Uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.